show. Uh, today we will be uh, working on uh, carrying the sound over uh, all over your game using player prefs. Uh, of course, we're using Unity as usual, and uh, yeah, and uh, ba basically the story behind this is uh, I, I looked all over uh, trying to find. Let me just turn this down a little bit. This is too. A little bit too present. Here we go. Okay. So I looked all over the internet trying to find uh, the best way to uh, carry over uh, player prefs from a main menu uh, throughout the scenes in the game. And uh, including not only music volume but sound effects as well. So what I did, and I gave this a gave this a shot basically, just to see if it worked. Sorry, and uh, and uh, find out it was super easy. And I think I think this is the best way to do it. Um, so let's have uh, a look here. Uh, so this is the game I'm working on right now. And uh, let's load up the prefs. And we're gonna turn off the music completely. Yep. Thank you. Because we are gonna be uh, needing to hear the sound uh, out of this. Uh, so in the player press, so let's just do a little demo of what it should uh, do for you, as it did for me. So uh, music volume is completely off right now. So if we turn this up, well, we have the music. Okay, so first of all, let's start uh, with the beginning. I created two sliders uh, in the game objects, basically go to UI uh, and slider. Okay, uh, I won't do it because it's already done. Um, if we look at the, here we go, zoom back here so we can see the whole thing. Uh, so we have an effects volume slider and a music volume slider and a back button, which takes you back to the main menu. Uh, so, uh, first of all, what I did is linked the, uh, effects, uh, linked the slider with the audio source. So what I did here is I created a game, an empty game object, called it uh, Volume Controller, and in there, um, I have an Audio Manager script. So it's a C sharp script that I did. It's really really simple. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you that in a few minutes. Uh, in there, we set the music, which is the uh, actual volume. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, in the music, we have the audio source. Uh, so we have to add an audio source. And after that, we have the volume slider and the effects volume slider. Let's go take a look at the script. Okay, so we have the uh, my audio manager right here. And uh, declared some variables right here. So public audio source, which is the actual audio source that we just saw. Uh, the public slider, which is the volume, and the public slider for the effects. I called it effects volume, and the other one just volume. Uh, could have called it music volume, but I didn't. I don't know why. I just called it volume. And it's uh, so far it's working, <laughs> so it's all good. In my start function, uh, actually before that, let's go in the, vo in the update function. To link the slider with the audio source, so we have here, let's, let's see the whole thing. Uh, the music dot volume music is my audio source. So the audio source dot volume equals volume, which is my slider dot value. So the value of the volume equals the audio sources volume. That's how they're linked. And we just saw right now that it works uh, pretty well. I don't need I didn't need to do the same. I could have done the same thing for the effects. Uh, but there's no effects sounds. There's no sound effects in the uh, in the prep screen. So I didn't really need to do that. All I wanted to do was to set a uh, float value 
into uh, the player prefs that can be used later by the game, uh, by all the sound, the other sound effects that are in the game. Uh, and the way I uh, save that in the player prefs, it's actually pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, I use the back button. Uh, so not only does the back button uh, use the scene management to go back to the main menu, but it also goes and gets this function right here. So public void volume prefs. And it basically saves the, uh, the, the float values of the sliders into a player pref which is uh, for the um, music volume it so player pref dot set float into music volume and that float is the music dot volume that we have right here and in the uh, for the effects volumes the same things except it's a, a different name player pref dot set float so we're setting the float for fx volume and called fx volume and the value is right here which is fx volume dot value fx volume is the actual slider uh, the extra slider float value and bingo it's set in the player prefs it's all stored safely in there ready to be used by everything else so let's go back to unity here let's uh, set our player prefs right away so we're just going to wait for it to start here we go so music volume so you can already hear it. Uh, let's set it halfway. And uh, here we go. The effects volume one quarter of the way. The minute I press back, those prefs are saved. And the main menu right here uses that same pref for the music right here. So here I put it on the canvas. I have an audio source. Uh, which is the audio that's playing right now and I also uh, in the main menu script I have a an audio source here so let's go take a look at the main menu so in the main menu script all I'm doing is called the public audio source which is music and this is where I slide the uh, audio source and on the start function, I use music. So music that's right here, the, the audio source dot volume equals player prefs dot get float music volume. What that does is it sets the volume of the audio source to what we set in the prefs page originally. Uh, and and uh, that's how basically it's done all the way through the game. Uh, yes, you do have to, uh, you do have to create a prefab, but that's what I did. My name is, I'll show you that in a second, which you will need to put in every scene. Uh, but that's no big deal. It's a prefab. You just slide it in there uh, and it works. So we go back here. Okay. So now, even if I get out and I go back in, my prefs, my sound prefs are saved. Here we go. So the, the sliders just went back to what they, they're supposed to be. That said, it's done. Now, if we go to another scene, let's go to level one. Here we go. So here, what I did is I created an empty game object called Music Manager and uh, created a script also called Music Manager that goes in there created an audio source which is the uh, music the background music for that uh, for that level uh, drag the audio source into the music manager audio source and let's go look at the music manager script that one guys it's super simple there's there's not much in there okay uh, so there's the audio source right here set which is called music so music dot, vol dot volume equals player prefs get float music volume. So basically, just it only fetches the uh, float and uh, the float that we set with the slider, and puts it into this audio source. Boom! It's done. So the volume is carried over. Super simple. 
and uh, you can do this. It takes two seconds. It took me a big old like 10 minutes to do the whole like game. So I did this, uh, made this a prefab, the music manager, and uh, I just put it in the other scene as well. So let's say we go to level two. We have the same prefab right here, music manager, and uh, it works the same way. So the music is set. It's the same script, everything. So it goes and gets the same information. It's all good and it works super well. Now for the effects. Uh, the effects you have to go get every audio source which have sources for your, your uh, here let me show you it's going to be easier that way let's go in scene level one in the scene we have some coins let's make this a little bit bigger coins have a sound effect to them but they also have a script already managing the the coins giving points etc but on the coins, if we look in the hierarchy right here, uh, blah, 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 coins pick up. Here we go. Coins. On the coins themselves, which are also prefabs. So once you set this, it's going to be good for all the coins and all over the game. Uh, I have a pickup point script here. Uh, and I just added an audio source to it. Let's go have a look at it. So in the coin pickup script, it has all the other stuff that it needs to do, but it also sets right away in the start function, the coin sound effect. See, I have an audio source right here, which is a public audio source coin sound effect. The coin sound effect on volume equals player prefs dot get float effects volume. So it fetches the information, boom, it's done. The coin sound effect is gonna be the exact same uh, volume that you set for all the effects in the game. All you have to do is go get this in relation to this, and it's done. For the music, you only do it once. It works all over the 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 uh, the scene, which is fine. Uh, but for the uh, sound effects, well, if you have sound effects on your enemies, you'll have to uh, go get that player prefs as well. See, we here we have a potion, uh, and that's a health potion. Here we go. So we go in the potions. Uh, here we go. Close this. In the health potion, I have a script which is called health pickup, and I did the exact same thing. So in the health pickup, in the start, I have. I put the I declare the audio source right here, health sound effect, health sound effect dot volume player press FX volume. So the volume is set. It's done. And you have to do this for all your uh, game objects that have sound effects. Like uh, the, we have a life potion here, did the same thing on that. And we have a script that manages the life potion giving life. Uh, giving health and all that stuff, but it also has a uh, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, it's not in there. Wrong script. Let's go back. Uh, life potion, life pickup. No, that's not it. <laughs> it's the same exact one. Where is it? Where is it? Has it? Oh, it's health. Life potion. Oh, I put it in the health pickup uh, because the life potion not only gives you one life, uh, but it also brings back your health to maximum. So it's using the same script. Uh, except not the same audio source, obviously. Uh, so, in here I can see that is not set. So let's just so go set that right away. So FX, and that's going to be life pickup. I can't put it in there. It has an audio source to it. Where's my audio? Oh, there it is. Audio source. Life pickup. Okay. So all you have to do is drag that 
audio source here and bingo it's done uh, so let's give this a shot let's see how it works I guess you, you understand I hope you understand how how it all works basically you set and we have the uh, effects here and all the effects will have the same uh, volume the same volume basically because they're all going here we go and uh, the music will all have the same volume and the effects will all have the same volume uh, that you set per the sliders in the in the prefs so uh, I hope you learned something guys here uh, I hope uh, I could help uh, a couple people find how to do this because I know I, I worked hard at it trying to find uh, how it was going to do that uh, but it, it's it really is super simple guys so if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments or uh, give me a shout out on, on on Twitch or anything like that and I'll, I'll answer you but it's 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 really simple um, don't forget to subscribe or to follow and I'll catch you next time. Uh, I hope you learned something. All right. See you guys.